What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, um, <clears throat> I hadn't planned on doing this video. Um, I thought I was going to do a video tomorrow covering uh, what's going on, but being that I do have a couple of people who follow me that live in that vicinity, I know uh, Lena, uh, who's contributed to the channel, is a follower of this channel. She lives in this area. Uh, I know James, a.k.a. Nola Boy, lives in this area. Um, I want all of you all, and anybody else who lives in the Louisiana, especially if you live near the coast of Louisiana, if you live anywhere near the coast of Mississippi or even further inland, I want you all to take heed of this storm. Hopefully, hopefully. It's not as bad, it will not be as bad as anticipated. But with these types of situations, you have to prepare for the worst. Okay, this is a storm that is rapidly intensifying. The last time that there was a reconnaissance plane that did a measure of the storm's intensity, it was down to 962 millibars and 105 mile per hour winds which puts it in a category two. But if you look at the radar images, the storm has intensifi intensified dramatically over the last couple of hours. There will not be another retcon plane uh, measuring the storm's intensity until 2, p uh, 2 a.m. Uh, I would not be surprised if by that time uh, it's a high-end category three, maybe even a category four. Um, it's rapidly intensified just from the radar images. And um, the language is coming from the local weather office is very alarming. Uh, once tropical storm force winds uh, enter into the vicinity, do not expect any help. These people will stand down for their own personal safety. And the language is that basically you will be on your own. There is nobody that's going to come to help you. There's nobody that's going to come and rescue you. Okay, um, this is why I did my live stream yesterday to give people warning in this area to take this storm seriously, to do everything you could to prepare. Um, I understand a lot of people because of the the, pan, the pandemic and other issues, um, it you know can't afford to just up and leave. I understand that. Um, but I just want people to be prepared for what can possibly happen. Um, in some areas, especially along the coast, the language that they're using is this storm may be unsurvivable. When you take into account they're predicting one to two feet of rain in some areas, if you heard me correctly, I didn't say one to two inches. I said one to two feet of rain. There's going to be an unsurvivable storm surge. There's going to be, in some areas, 100 to 150 mile per hour winds. Okay? Uh, there's going to be tornadoes. There's going to be uh, a lot of damage. There's going to be power outages that are going to last for weeks. And to make matters worse, we're already dealing with a pandemic, which has already filled hospitals with patients from the virus. So people who are going to be hurt, and people who are going to need assistance, guess what? Unlike in 2005, when it was already an unsurvivable situation, it's going to make it even worse. Not to mention the fact that a major pipeline, all right, as far as with our oil supply, can be damaged. It's in the, it's, it's a, it could take a direct hit from the storm, which will affect the gasoline supply nationally, especially in the southeast, I should say, really. Uh, so... This storm could have ramifications down the line, not to mention the fact that the remnants of this storm is probably going to affect the region I live in sometime around Wednesday or Thursday of next week. Um, but the, the main problem right now, the main issue, is anybody in this vicinity, if you live in Louisiana, especially in the southern half of Louisiana, especially the coastal Louisiana, if you live in Mississippi, please take this storm seriously. I don't know what the strength is of the storm right now, but I, you know, I don't want to speculate, but it's most likely stronger 
now is in the Category 2 storm. Remember Katrina, at one point in time, was a 180 mile per hour uh, Category 5 storm. Thankfully, it weakened to a, a strong Category 3 when it struck 130 mile per hour winds. This storm may be stronger than Katrina. It might be stronger when it hit. We'll know by 2 p.m. where its, where its exact strength is. I do know this about meteorology. Um, oftentimes, when a storm strengthens, the wind field expands before the central uh, winds, as far as the in the center, get stronger. Uh, Ida's wind field has expanded. That it's expanded over the last several hours. The tropical storm force winds have expanded uh, much further from the center of the circulation. Uh, so we'll see at two at two a.m. exactly how strong the storm is, but. I heed to everybody listening. Um, this storm can potentially be catastrophic. 